Getting to the upper weights. Nine House was the former opponent uh, in the semifinals for Ferrari. Assad. Albert Assad in the red. Excuse me, Albert Ferrari in the red. And Abe Assad, his opponent in the blue 170 pound championship finals. He took out Talon Borer of Oklahoma in the semis oh, in there. He comes up big here, earns the first takedown, puts two points on the board, does Ferrari. And two more. Make it four high, nothing. High leg lace, almost a. He was on the knees almost. A thigh lace, perhaps. These are some big guys. They're going to make a lot of noise here on the stage when they hit the ground. Good to see a Texan here in the finals. Both of us flew in from the great state of Texas. The Lone Star State. Yes, AJ Ferrari from Allen, Texas. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, the same hometown high school as Bo Nickel. Yes, sir. Yep. So good to see Texas. Tons of high school kids wrestle there, uh, but very few trickle up to the Division I collegiate uh, level. So always nice to see these other states. And then, of course, Illinois, they've been all over these finals. Yeah. I have to count them up, but a lot. A half dozen or more. So I think we looked at the team score. It was 79 now. Still shows 79 for Illinois. And Ohio second at 48, so a good chance that Illinois is gonna walk away with another uh, title, another. Yeah. Yes, I believe so. Oh yes, it might be locked up. So put another check mark or a tally a on those sets. Single leg now here, Assad in on it. Darrell's by four. He's a little extended, trying to readjust his positioning here. And we are out of bounds. One point on the step out, 4-1. First point goes up for Assad. All right, hand fighting in the middle, down to 38 seconds. Shot from Ties, gets to the leg, but really shallow is Ferrari. It's a four to one lead. Ferrari holding on. 10 seconds to go in the first, and it looks like that's how we're gonna head into the break. Just took two scores, a four-pointer and a one-pointer, and that's what we got on the board as these young men make their way back to their corners. 170 pounds, excuse me, 170 pounds. It's nice to see these guys in the upper weights. Uh, it's good to see guys that when I was their age, I might have been able to make these weight classes actually for once. Hey. Good to, yeah, yeah. I, I would have made this weight. You think? Yeah. Yeah, you can make this weight now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. just, you With know, overnight. Lead in my pockets. Quick, <laughs> fully clothed with a briefcase full yeah. of marbles. <laughs> marbles? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? Sure. Back to action, start of the second period. Ferrari and Assad 4-1. Yeah, Allen, Texas, as we mentioned for Ferrari. Abe Assad from Glenvard North High School. Carroll Stream, Illinois, also uh, produced a bunch of wrestlers. If I got it right, but maybe I don't. But Ferrari looking to cut this back, and he scored again, another two. Keeping that Navy ride. Six one now, 30 seconds into the period. And Assad catches that leg. Doesn't matter, they're gonna go through for another two, make it 8-1. Oh, a standing. Nope, 8-1, and they're gonna go out of bounds. We'll take it back to the center with 2.13 to go. Love to see the classic leg lace from the standing position. 
like the cartwheel sometimes. Yeah, it just looks good. Just looks like the right way to get an exposure. I don't know. <laughs> Shoot them off. Appreciation points from the booth. I don't. I don't. The caution in two, I don't get. That guy didn't go out of bounds on purpose. Yeah, it's he trying to go out of bounds. And then the he's caution, trying to not go out of bounds. And you see the yellow mark uh, next to the score by Ferrari. It means he's got a caution, so that's the first criteria break. So, so that was a caution in two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree, and it's tough to. It's very hard to call consistently, even if you have the best refs. Uh, ever, I'm not trying to criticize them here. It's not the refs, it's the rules. Yeah, the, the rules. The rules. Who I have a problem with. Difficult to every right. single time get the intent of both wrestlers. Right. So, question came in: What's worse, the correct throw call or the caution to two? I think the correct throw is the one that pushes it the most because, well, if it was correct, you'd have a score. But either one, when when. Uh, when the match is on the line, either one is not fun. It, Anytime you give the referees more more power and discretion, I don't like it. Now yeah. we see Ferrari up on the feet, and he's going to take it out of bounds again. That's going to be a step out. Yeah, and it's not even power. It's not like they're trying to alter the match, but you're right. It's discretion, and it, it just it just setting things up for well, it, controversy, yes. bad, yeah, just un, un, unhappy. We pissed off if they call it caution. And maybe somebody else is going to be pissed off if they don't call right. caution. Right. You watch a match and you see it called, and then you wrestle. You think it's going to get called, and it doesn't. But if it could go either way, then there's no consistency. And that's the, the unfortunately, it's not consistent enough. So back to the match because Ferrari still, despite that call, is putting on uh, an impressive performance. Should be recognized here. And single leg, he was backing up. His opponent came towards him. Ferrari's going to put another two on the board Pops for the exposure. Yep. 11-3 now in a turn. You like where Assad's thinking? He wants to, you know, go big here. He knows he's down a bunch, but good for Ferrari staying in position, coming out on top of that one. Ferrari zooming to a nine-point lead. Eight-point mm, yeah, eight lead. Yeah, car. <laughs> and, and looking for a red. little broomstick cradle there. Good job. It worked for Assad some defense. And now he's coming over the top, locking through the crotch. He trailed by eight. So he's fine. The, the time is ticking down. He'll and just eat up some clock. Ferrari just needs to hang on. He's going to do it. And your final 11 to 3. Albert Ferrari of Texas. The stars at night are big and bright. Deep here in the Fargo Dome. <laughs>